The clock is ticking down to the Olympic Games, and in just over three years time, the countdown to London hosting the greatest sporting event on the planet will be over. The taxis will be busier than ever, the streets will be crowded, and after medal success in Beijing, the British public will be expecting an amazing performance from our athletes. However, due to funding shortfalls from UK sport and the government, the medal chances for sports such as table tennis may suffer greatly. So when the games are over, and we compare medals won by each sport, just be prepared to mind the gap. UK sports are the government organisation responsible for allocating how much money each sport is given in the build-up to the 2012 Games. In December last year, table tennis's funding was cut significantly, whereas well-funded sports such as swimming and cycling saw their budgets increase. I spoke to Jessica Whitehorn to find out the reasons why. Um, we look at things like um, obviously the sport's current um, performances as well as future potential of, of the sport, um, looking forward in terms of the gap they have to fill to make it to the podium. Okay. Um, do you think table tennis athletes are going to find it harder to achieve medals at 2012 due to lower funding? I mean, obviously, funding is, is a crucial element to any athlete's preparation. It's, I mean, it's in recent times, obviously, since the National Lottery came on board and UK Sports been there to fund athletes, we have been able to, to give athletes a really comprehensive package of support. So, in an ideal world, we would love to be able to fund all the sports optimally. Um, in the, you know, the current climate that we find ourselves in, we're not currently able to do that. Um, so, you know, it's going to be difficult for certain sports to, to, to you know, achieve their, their, their whole potential um, but we do feel that we've made the right decisions based on the funding that we have available to us and that we've secured our best medal, medal hopes um, for, the, for the coming Olympic cycle. To illustrate the massive gap in funding for Olympic sports in the UK, table tennis will receive just over £1.2 million over the next four years, synchronised swimming will receive nearly triple that figure at £3.5 million, canoeing will get just over £16 million, but sports such as cycling, athletics and swimming will all get over £25 million. However, when I went to Letchworth Garden City to meet Alex Murdoch, chairman of the English Table Tennis Association, he was confident that enough money will eventually come in to give our young hopefuls a chance of a medal. The only advantage with what has happened, at least that UK Sport, in conjunction with DCMS and others, have managed to allow us to use the funding over a two-year period whilst uh, a group of people are going to get together to try and raise the additional funding. And I think the ball's in table tennis court to, to maintain the level of, of training and competitions that they've got. And then we can go back in a year's time or 18 months to UK sport and say, look, this is what we've achieved. Um, we'd like some more money. Because I'm sure that other sports have, who have got the funding might find some difficulty. After leaving Letchworth, the next stop on my journey was the National Championships at Ponds Ford International Sports Centre in Sheffield. On show with the top players in the country, with many tip for great success in the future. Whilst there, I caught up with England's head coach Steen Hansen to find out his views on UK table tennis at this time and who he believed can go for gold. Money is not everything, but uh, we were asking for 0.5% of the total of the total budget and uh, commitment, attitude and, a, and, a, and approach is very, very important. But I think we have the best group of uh, youngsters which Britain have had in a decade. There's been a lot invested in them and as I said earlier, I believe we can do something special and of course money would help. You can work much more in detail and much more in a, in a professional way. Um, what players in particular do you think stand the best chance of getting a medal in 2012? I think Paul Drinkhold can win a medal. Yeah. Uh, he is an unbelievable talent. For me, the sky is the limit for him. Uh, he needs to make a lot of decisions to benefit his game. He needs to learn to be a 24-hour athlete. He can be fitter. And then he had to understand that Olympic game is not three and a half year away, it's every day in the training hall. If he can do that, and I think there are signals that uh, we are moving in the right direction, then I think he has an uh, unbelievable poss possibility. Another source of funding for the table tennis team could be to secure major sponsors. However, looking at the crowd here today, this may prove a tough task. 
but Darius Knight, England's number two, believes he can change this. I would say it's, it's not fair, but I mean, it's just the way life is. Life isn't fair, but then um, I said, hopefully, you know, if I can take this sport to another level, like winning medals at the Olympics, European men's, world men's championship, then hopefully that, that could change, you know, like the, the sport in England and show that there's more hope to put more money in it, not just from, not just from my pocket, but for the actual, you know, the, the UK crisis for young people to make them do something positive. Olympic hopefuls such as Paul and Darius may not be receiving as much funding as they feel they should. But there were some real winners when UK Sport announced their funding and they're here today. The Paralympic team's recent success in Athens and Beijing was rewarded by UK Sport with their largest funding to date, which is significantly higher than even the Olympic squads. Will Bailey was part of the Paralympic squad that travelled to Beijing last summer and although he didn't win a medal then, he believes that with the extra money this time round, it will make all the difference. Um, it will give us like the best chances for medals in 2012, I think. Although the Olympics haven't been given as much funding, we've been given more, and like, we've, got to, we've got to do the business in 2012 under a bit of pressure, but we'll do it, I think. So how, how confident are you? Like, is your aim a gold? Yeah, for, for sure. Like, I want to get the gold, I've beaten everyone in the world, so I've just got to do it on the day. I think I can, so, yeah. Here at Bournemouth Sports Club though, the problem of money still remains for those so close to stardom. Players such as Hannah Hicks, who recently made her debut for the women's senior team, and Matt Ware, who has represented the England junior team on several occasions, have had to look elsewhere from the government in UK sport to support themselves. Hannah regularly plays for a club in Sweden, and Matt has managed to secure funding from John Lewis, which he believes will help him in the future. Like with, the, with the lack of funding in the table tennis at the moment, I had to try and get my own way, trying to get support from the Olympics and try and build my way, especially in this area, trying to get good training, good possibility to go to abroad, stuff like that. Basically, I sent off 30 different letters to different companies, Asda and Sainsbury's and Sunseek and stuff like that. But then my letter came in the door at John Lewis and basically he said, yeah, they, they want to sponsor someone early from the Olympics, like 2008, and then build, them, build someone hopeful up trying to get to the Olympics like each year by year, giving them a little bit of support. And my letter came from them and it went from there, really. Cool. Um, just say, so, do you feel your chances with the extra funding have been much improved? Um, I will do. Um, it's early at the moment, but when I get more support from John Lewis later, later in the years, hopefully I'll be able to go to board places like France and Sweden to compete and train out there, which will help me a great deal, a lot. Great deal. As good as this is for Matt, Coach Roden Fullen thinks that these types of companies should be doing a lot more to help. I think there must be a lot more emphasis on finding money from by one means or another. I know it's difficult in these times of recession, but we'd still hear of companies making quite indecent profits. Like the large supermarkets and things that are making huge profits. Why can't some of these firms put money into sport? that we shall have free teams in the 2012 Olympics. We will not have free individual entry. Every player from the UK will have to qualify. And that means qualifying against top players in Europe. It also means qualifying against top players from other GB countries like Wales, like Northern Ireland, who have, as it happens, already Chinese players qualified to play for. And our players will have to qualify against that sort of level to get anywhere. It's going to be very, very difficult. It's time for the table tennis team to face facts. Money doesn't grow on trees and the lack of funding may prove to be Team GB's downfall in achieving their first ever medal in table tennis at the Olympic Games. But with the crop of young players that are available to Steen Hansen, who knows what can be done in three years time. After all, we all love the underdogs.